with this whole Ngannou thing coming down now uh, after fighting Tyson Fury in October and uh, possibly in some people's eyes defeating him and what uh, experts was calling an exhibition this is what I don't get about the whole fight um, I don't remember anything as far as people try to treat it like it was an exhibition and different things like that like it wasn't a real pro fight and then now with everything going the way it did now Francis Ngannou is a ranked he's ranked in a uh, sanctioning body and people's acting like uh he's Fury's never been knocked it down before and Francis Ngannou did a great job he had great technique and it's just a whole bunch of things it's like they trying to act like Francis Ngannou ain't have a chance of even fighting him. Like, why, why would y'all even send him out there then? That goes to show that a lot of these fights they put together, they think it's a joke. And they want certain guys to go out there and get busted up for their own entertainment. Then when it go, doesn't go that way, they want to kind of uh, look the other way and kind of play play different things. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to play, play roles, man, to be honest. Because Ngano should never be in a position now where he has to actually wait on Anthony Joshua and get a fight with him. He should be fighting Fury. You know what I'm saying? Like, he actually wants the Fury fight. Out of everything people have talked about, he said he wants the Fury fight the most. He likes most of the things people are talking about, but as he said... I like to do the Fury fight the most because I feel like uh, I had a chance in that fight. I feel like that's something I want. So you can't be mad at him about that. Because if, if people didn't think he did a good job, why is he in the fight with Anthony Joshua? He just lost. Wilder lost a fight. I didn't see him. Wilder had a draw and had a loss with Anthony Joshua. I didn't see anybody uh, Fury. I didn't see anybody trying to see him get in the ring with uh, Anthony Joshua. That's people have to realize. Francis Ngannou is coming out the, off a loss. He knocked the guy down and people talking about he didn't do nothing. We talking about the experts in boxing. They say Francis Ngannou ain't do enough. He ain't do nothing. Uh... It wasn't really nothing special that he was doing. He didn't try to uh, be aggressive. And... But y'all gonna sit here and watch him fight Anthony Joshua, though. It was a lot of excuses made for that Fury fight, uh, in that fight. For Fury and uh, the stuff that Ngannou did to uh, Tyson Fury. But he's in, he's in, he's in a situation now, he has to prove himself. They saying now, like, look, you're not the priority right now. If you want that fear, if you want that fury fight, you gotta basically uh go in there and beat Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy a guy from MMA is coming into the sport, and the first two fights he has is Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Like people don't even realize that. Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury the first two fights he has. And I'm not going to lie. If he end up beating Anthony Joshua, I don't hear about Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Like, people don't even know what they finna do with this area of boxing. They finna destroy it. Not because of uh, Ngannou. He's just going to expose a lot of things. These heavyweights ain't really all what everybody's saying they are. And he's proved it already one time. They trying to say, oh, let's, let's see if he can do it again. It always got to be some guy like him that got to prove himself. Now he got to prove himself again. They don't believe he's uh he's capable of actually getting the win. I feel like Francis Ngannou is more than capable of getting the win. From the stuff I've seen him do. But uh, I don't know, man. That, that Fury fight is only going to be... uh magnify if it gonna go out there and do what he needs to. But for anybody that thinks he's just gonna go out there and get flatlined by Joshua, that's not gonna happen. 
That's definitely not gonna happen. I'm gonna go be well prepared. Now we're gonna figure out who can box. You know how y'all said guys was born and they can't box and things like that? We're gonna find out now. We're about to find out. This is gonna be crazy. We're gonna find out. It's exactly what we've been looking for. But a lot of people don't want to put those things out there as far as people not being able to box. And But with this Ngannou fight, these guys taking some huge risks. They think it's not a huge risk. They think it's a payday and um, it's just for entertainment. But not the way they've been picking and uh, carefully choosing opponents and fight dates and things like that and making arrangements and choosing and changing dates and just the whole system, the way everything's going. They're not too confident in what they've been doing lately, so I think a guy like a gun will kind of uh, shake up the whole operation they have going on right now. It's not really of a something that I think it should stick around in boxing right now. I don't think none of this stuff should stick around in boxing. A lot of these guys ain't really fighting uh, to a high level anyways. But I definitely feel like... Um, I definitely feel like Ngannou is basically going to um, let everybody know that a lot of guys don't actually get the same kind of opportunities he's getting right now. It's all about money, man. You know what I'm saying? Guys, they always say, oh, I want so-and-so to prove himself, or I want this guy to prove himself. And then when it comes, when it comes time to prove yourself, uh, none of that stuff really matters. They don't care about who proves themselves or not, man. None of that stuff matters. None of that stuff matters for real. I got him at a whole nother level now. It just shows a lot of things that go on in Boston, though. It's not really uh, that people just making up. And Francis Ngannou already said it in his interviews. Like, hey, this is just the way the Boston goes. They have certain things. I can't come in here and just try to change up uh, how the, how Boston been running this whole time. He was talking about as far as uh, the judging and stuff like that. He felt like the judging and scorecards was kind of off a little bit. In his eyes, he didn't lose. No matter what fight you think he was in, points, jab, or whatever, he feel like he ain't lose a fight. You know what I'm saying? If you look at the fight after, one guy had a black eye, one guy didn't. But you know, people are sitting here trying to tell you certain things like, oh, the, the real winner was Fury because the judges said, okay, man. All right. You think everybody that was in American Idol that they're actually famous right now or doing good? Last time I checked, the people who actually won the show, they ain't even doing nothing. So let's not act like everybody just know what's best for each other and who's making the best decision and all that stuff. Like, let's be real. They're just, they just in it for a uh, payday with Francis and Ghana. You know what I'm saying? And Ghana wasn't really an option a year or two ago. But then when uh, Fury became interested in the uh, Ngannou fight, now they have Joshua interested in the uh, Ngannou fight. But we know Joshua, he's just uh, a guy that they match up for a payday. If they can get Joshua to do a payday for them, they will most likely will do it. I'm like, oh, Joshua will self pay that, so we'll be all right, yeah. We'll most, we'll most definitely do that. Joshua 
that's why I always usually accept paydays. Yeah, but in Gano, he uh definitely has a lot of things that he got to uh, put in front of him as far as with the Joshua fight. If he gets the win, I don't know where this puts him at. Would it put him back in this driver's seat as far as with a Fury fight? I mean, at the end of the day, I thought Fury won his get back anyways. I don't know. That's my thing about it. If, if Fury had a clear-cut win, why would he want to get back for that fight? Frank Warren, like, yeah, Fury wants to guarantee he had that fight before the career over with rematch. Why? He don't feel like he won? Don't understand that. Then what's the other thing? He says, now they have Joshua fighting Ngannou. For what? You know what I'm saying? They got, he had Hergovic sitting around. Instead of him fighting Helena, she could have fought Hergovic. And he could have fought uh, Jean. And he could have fought Joe Joy. And the boy. I don't know, man. I'm going to look at some things as far as the next couple of weeks. But I don't know. Francis Ngannou might have a very good chance against uh, Anthony Joshua. I'm talking about like a huge chance. Because I feel like he's still getting underestimated. But for him to have to be uh, fight for a chance at Fury, nah. Y'all see how they always do that? They always try to put somebody else in front of somebody. See, what they were doing with Wilder was cool, but they're doing it with Ngannou, too. Ngannou going to learn in a minute. He's going to he gonna have to get used to fighting his way, himself, uh, fighting his way out of situations. Especially when it comes to these fights, he's going to have to learn how to uh, fight his way out of these uh, situations, because if he don't, man, he's going he to end up in a world of trouble. He's having hard fights back to back to back to back. These world class guys. These are the top guys. A top heavyweight of this era. Now he fighting another one. They want they want him to look bad, man. They don't like how uh they don't like how good he's been looking over the last couple of weeks. They want him to look bad. They like, oh no. Nah. I don't like dealing with this guy no more. I'm done with him. Yeah, they don't really uh, like a gun like people think. They want to X him out. If they can do it with uh, Anthony Joshua while we're waiting on Fury, so be it. Definitely would like to do that. Then nobody, then we'll have to worry about Fury or who's uh, possibly finding a gun you know what I'm saying they'll just keep kicking the can down the street but everything will come together though you can't stop what's uh, gonna happen in the fight definitely can't stop but that's all I got though like and subscribe